This is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Today we are hooked up to a 2012 Ford with a 6.7 diesel engine. So uh, we've already kind of navigated to where we need to be and we're going to run this system scan. So the system scan will go ping this truck for every available computer that's on it. So what it'll do is it's going out there trying to figure out what it has, what variants it has, does the computer exist on the vehicle, does it have codes in it or not? Are they active or are they not if it does find codes? So uh, in this case, we're doing everything Bluetooth. We're probably literally a good 50 feet away from the vehicle. And uh, the further you get away, the system will work. It just sometimes is a little bit slower. But we're outside here today, and uh, it's always easier to do these things in the shade where you can get a little bit better viewing angle on the computer. So doing our full scan doesn't take too terribly long and now we see all kinds of things so anything that's green means it found the system and everything's good season X it means it did not find the system that doesn't mean that system doesn't ex that there's a problem with the tool or the truck it just means that truck doesn't have that system and anything that has a yellow symbol means that it has a uh, inactive code or active code so if I click over here on DTC's detected you'll actually see we actually have an active code on this engine. So it's red. So if it was inactive, it would be yellow. So there's a yellow one right here under the multimedia system. So let's jump into this Ford and let's actually see what that code is and how good this tool works on that system. So you'll see here, it doesn't take too long to kind of hop around on the OBD2 stuff. Uh, if you're used to commercial trucks, some do take a while. It's not a function of the TEXA as much as a function of the ECU of the vehicle. So it's doing a little download here, it looks like, to the ECM, to, to the TXT box, so it has the right stuff to hook up to this thing. So we'll just give it a second here. And it says turn the ignition on, which we already do. We'll hit the confirm button, and we should be in here very, very shortly. So Texa Ford stuff was just added about oh, two versions ago. It's been around for about six months now. Uh, when they first came out with it, they just added a couple things, and every iteration now they've done more and more. And at this point, they're telling us it's complete. All the commands are in there. Um, all the bugs have kind of been worked out. And that's typically the path that it goes on with the uh, with the Texan people. So great. We're hooked up to it now. I'm going to go over to parameters. And first thing we can see is we have 295 different pressures, sensors, uh, status switches, all kinds of things. You can see like this one's fluctuating here. That's because the vehicle actually is. The green value would be your low value while you've been connected to it. The red would be your high value while you've been connected to it. So page after page after page of available commands, anything you would want to see is in here. You can run uh, favorite groups. Uh, there's some default ones set up in here like voltages, pressures, and so on. So let's go back. The faults, we do have an active code on this one in the engine system. I'll double click it. We can see we got code P20BA for the heater A control performance is active on this one. And we can go over to ECU info to get VIN number, software levels, calibration levels, etc. All the good stuff, the thing everybody always wants to see, activations and settings. So over here in activations, you will see there's quite an extensive list of all the commands you can do on this engine. Uh, everything from commanding the EGR valves to resetting things to doing your cylinder tests. Everything is in here that you would be able to do with the OEM software. There's your injector commands to switch those on and off. So there's the entire list on this vehicle there. And then on settings, we have even more. So settings, uh, injector replacement. Uh, anytime you see a question mark, it'll tell you what that command does. We can hit the question there. So when you put new injectors in, you need to program them to the ECU on the Ford. And you can do it with this tool. So as we go through the list here, you will find everything that you need to do, including your popular regen commands, relearn commands, and everything else. So let's just go back to that main screen real quick, just to again show you all the different tools that are available. And uh, I never really went through the list, so as you can see, they're all in here. All right. So the tool, the Texas truck tool, is mainly for commercial trucks. A lot of people are asking for functionality on the diesel side for Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. They are all covered, and we really hope you enjoyed the example that we showed you today. And thank you for watching.